Hello everyone, I thought I would bring you a video on Java Fern and how to care for it. Um, Java Fern is and one of the easiest plants to take care of in your aquarium. Um, you don't need any special substrate, just need light and some fertilizer and even um, they're considered low light plants. So, you know, they're one of the very good plant to, um, you know, start your tank with. They're also pretty hardy and can take a beating to some extent. And this variety right here is the Java Fern Windelav. So you can see if I zoom in, the leaves have these little, you know, like kind of little fingers coming out of the top. This is the Windelav variety. It does not get as big as the regular Java Fern as far as I know, but, um, and here I have it attached to uh, some lava rock. And uh, let me pull it out for a second so you can get a closer look. So here you can see, um, you know, it, it's, I've attached it to a rock and I've had this plant for about two years and I use super glue and you can use the regular super glue um, just like this. This is, I prefer the gel kind um, for aquarium just because it's a little easier to work with. It is thicker. Uh, I've used Loctite as well. So I think most of the uh, super glue gel varieties are they're aquarium safe. And the main thing about these plants is this a rhizome plant. And what that means is that there's a like a finger like rhizome right here that um, you don't want to bury in the substrate which is why you either want to keep it directly on the substrate or you want to attach it to rock or driftwood and java fern and then other rhizome plants like anubius bulbitis they are all good um, you know to attach to rock or driftwood so this one years ago i super glued it to um, this rock and the roots have taken hold and such and um, you know it's got a lot of pretty good growth on it so you know you know so make sure don't bury the rhizome or the rhizome will rot and then um, your plant may not make it so you put it back in here so and then my main tank i have a main variety of java fern this right here in the back is an amazon sword but this right here is the main java fern um you can see it's a little bigger it's hard to picture the rhizome here and um Here's the Anubius as well. And this might give you a good picture of what the rhizome of these plants look like. If I lift it up, if you see this big, long finger structure right here, you see where all the leaves are coming out? That is the rhizome. And this Anubius has grown quite a bit. That's a Nana Petite. Um, <coughs> but that's, you know, both these plants are rhizome plants, but they do have, um, you know, low light requirements. Um, and, you know, are one of the easier plants to, to you know, to start with, so. Anyways, just thought I'd share um, some information on Java Fern. It's a great plant. Um, it can grow pretty big. I think the main variety can grow to, you know, over a foot. So it can get quite big. Anyways, um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know about your experience with Java Fern. And if you have any questions, just uh, post them. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching.